I want to share one of my personal Bob blocks with you. My favorite, of course, but it's the eagle. The eagle at the top, he's just so patriotic and looks wonderful up there with the whole garland of stars across there. Well, I have always felt patriotic my whole life because I was born on the 3rd of July. My mom and dad said that I was an early firecracker. I just popped too soon. And I always thought that celebration on the 4th of July was just for me celebrating my birthday one day later. So I've always dressed in red, white, and blue. My favorite color is red. So we did this quilt at a retreat. And what was really fun about it, one person did the eagle, of course, but all of these blocks were made by the participants. Each person cut their own block and sewed it together. And would it be a miracle or is it just because of the AccuQuilt cutter? In the end, every block was the same size and they fit together. So just lattice and we put little stars in the corners. So it's great. Now you could also do this with the new cube, the nine inch cube. Absolutely, yes. These are the pieces that come in your cube and your mix and match dies as well. Right, and so. this, this is in my book in the Go Sampler. So it's just one of my favorites. Let's get going. Let's do it, huh? So we already arranged all of the pieces on the die, so we didn't want to take them off. But now here we have the, the wings, and you could see they need to be mirror image. So the uh, paperback fusible has been fused to the wrong side. They're placed wrong side up. This is gonna be the head, only one, and a shield. Very appropriate to have a stripe for the shield. And then these are the little feet. We have to have two of those feet. And then one more, one little olive branch. So I think it's great. And I think you should just get it cut. Huh? All right. There you go. Okay, thank you. And we're yeah. going to use the Go Big Cutter, so this should be pretty easy to get this all cut at the same time. Absolutely. So one of my other favorite hobbies is stitching on wool. And this is one that I'm very proud of because we cut all the pieces out of the wool and then I just did a hand blanket stitch around the outside edge. If you catch me on a plane, you'll see me with some wool and some thread stitching them down. And then I put just little triangles along the top, simple quilting, because I didn't want to really ruin um, the effect of the eagle. Okay, okay so let us high. see what we have. You gonna help me? Sure. Okay, so we're gonna peel this away. We've got the wings. Oh. And so whenever you do this, I just take my nail and just scratch it along the edge a little bit. And we've got the uh, fusible on the back. We picked up a, um, a stripe. I think that's gonna look really good. Yeah, I can't I wait to see that shield. Okay. That is gonna look really good. And we are actually arranging this right on the top of a mat so that we can carry it over to the pressing board. Okay, so you wanna put that on. Ah. Oh, that looks great. Is that cool? Further down. I really love this. Okay. So this is perfect for quilts of valor, quilts that are made for the men that serve wounded soldiers. It can be perfect for anybody who has a birthday in July or just anybody patriotic, especially with the election and all of the talk. So now we've got our two little feet. I love this. I like the choice of the striped background as well. Yeah, I do too. I really like that. There's the little feet, okay. of course, and then the olive branch. And I'll probably put an eye in after it's all um, completed, stitched down. I'm just going to do this by machine. Use my blanket stitch, stitch around it, then sew the triangles on top and the bottom. I like them. They add a lot. Oh, look at the little feet. Perfect. I love it. I love those colors. I love it too. Well, this is great. Okay, so all I have to do 
we have to do is fuse it down, use steam, and then turn it over and do it from the back side as well so it really holds. Then I'll layer it and do some quilting around it, bind it, and the quilt will be done. I cannot wait. Oh, so exciting. So there's something that we know that we want to share with you, and it is Better cuts make better quilts. Thank you.